Welcome back to Crystal Clear. I'm your host, Ostrich Vox. So before I stated that I wanted to make videos debunking theories, you know, popular theories that I just don't agree with. But instead of debunking them, I think I'm just gonna provide my own alternate theory to that theory. So that way, even if I disagree with a theory, people can still have it while also having an alternative look at it. The best of both worlds. And today I want to talk about a theory that Connie is a descendant of gems. There's a theory around that she has some gem ancestry in her bloodline. She is part gem, which is why she can carry Rose's sword of ease and just a naturally gifted fighter. I need to be able to protect you! After all, she picked up sword fighting pretty quickly. And the evidence behind this, from what I've gathered, is that Rose knew that when she gave birth to Steven, she would give her physical form. And some people think that's because it's happened before. And in the answer in the flashback, we see a gem that kind of looks a lot like Connie or her mother. Foreshadowing, perhaps? Uh, I don't necessarily think so. I think they just reused designs because one, while I'm not really fond of this excuse, Steven was imagining the story. So he kind of had to make stretches of what the gems looked like. However, the reason why I disagree with this is because how would he know how Blue Diamond looks like or that she had a pearl? The same argument came up with Buddy's book. It's a good excuse to just get behind the fact that the crew we used designs, but it can only go so far without falling apart. And if there's more evidence to the whole Connie's descendant of a gem theory, please let me know. But what is my alternative to that? Why don't I agree with that? And what do I think may be the case with Connie? Well, the reason why I don't agree with that is just because it would come out of nowhere. There was no setup to it, no foreshadowing outside of the background character designs. And I know this is a riot for me to say as a theorist, but it's kind of looking way into the fact of how Rose gave birth to Steven. However, anything is possible, especially in Steven Universe. Would I be against the revelation that Connie is the descendant of Jem? Well, no. It would explain how she can carry Rose's sword. And if her parents were aware, it would make sense why they weren't super refusing to letting Connie practice her sword training. To go on these missions with Steven. In fact, they seem kind of proud of her wanting pictures and documentation of her first mission. However, it feels very fanfic -y, but what I'm about to say might too. However, I will try to make as much sense as it is possible. So, what is my theory? I believe that Connie Maheshwaran isn't a descendant of gems, but has gem in her DNA. Okay, what does that exactly mean? Well, think of any phantom. He was born a human, and then after a freak accident, had a ghost in his DNA. As opposed to someone like Jake Long, who always had dragon in his DNA, but only got his powers at a certain age. This mutation in Connie's DNA is what allows her to carry Rose's sword with ease and enhances her skills. Even though if you ask me, her sword fighting just comes from her tennis practice and violin playing to an extent. Honestly, Connie is pretty book smart and while she does definitely seem like a prodigy, her parents also raised and pushed her to become a very good worker, a very hard worker. So she just has determination to pick up things faster than others. But where in the series would Connie go from regular human to gem in her DNA? When would she get mutated? When would that mutation occur? Well, I believe there are two instances where that could have happened, and they're both in Season 1. The first one's kind of a stretch, but the second one makes perfect sense once I explain it. The first one is in the episode in Indirect Kiss. At the very end of the episode, Connie takes a drink out of Steven's juice box and actually heals her sight. She no longer needs her glasses. And this was the first instance of Steven's healing spit. And that caused a sample of Steven's DNA to go inside of Connie. And who knows what weird mumble jumble science could have happened after that? Who knows the side effects to that? On a human? However, I doubt this is exactly the moment that caused the mutation. Simply because Steven just healed her. And I'm not sure if just a little bit of his spit, a little bit of backwash is enough to completely change Connie's DNA. For her molecules and essence to be completely changed. Well, I mean, not completely. After all, she's still human. But still, that'd just be an odd explanation for, oh yeah, that's why Connie can do all this stuff now, because she has some of Steven's saliva in her. <laughs> Jokes aside, the second plausibility, and what I think is the reason why Connie would have a gem mutation in her DNA, is in the episode Alone Together, and really subsequent appearances of Stavani. I believe when Steven and Connie fused and they became one, the act of fusing and becoming Stavani and their own person and then defusing, changed Connie's DNA. Her DNA got mixed in with Steven's. Fusion! Fusion! It's always fusion! You are an experience. So if Steven is half gem, half human, 
50% gem, 50% human, that would make Hani, and by extension her DNA, just like Stevani, 25% gem and 75% human. After all, humans and gems have never fused before that, so there is no way to tell what the side effects of that would be. The same can be said for Jasper and the corrupted gem. I'm assuming that has never happened before, a gem fusing with a corrupted gem. And we see that because that gem was corrupted, after Jasper unfused with the gem, she also became corrupted. She caught corruption, she caught that disease. The data that makes up the corrupted gem, or the corrupted data, corrupted Jasper. Her data too. And that's two inorganic beings fusing. Both Steven and Connie are organic. Whether or not that will make them immune to gem side effects, I don't really know. But becoming Savani, mutating Connie's DNA, justify the increase of strength because even after Pearl's training, Connie did not really have much muscle growth, if any. And Rose's sword does not seem like it's very light. Steven can handle it no problem, but Steven can carry hundreds of pounds no problem. He is a very strong boy, and that's because he's half gem. And since Steven is organic, it's not like Kanye are gonna have any gem spots in her body, like how Jasper had spot blue spots on her during the corruption. Although it would be kind of neat if we saw that her hair was becoming curlier in the morning before she straightened it, but I doubt we're ever gonna see something like that. Simply because the show follows Steven's perspective, so the only way we could really get that is if Connie and Steven had a sleepover and then we show Connie getting ready the next morning and she wakes up with, you know, kind of Stevani-ish hair to reflect the gem mutation and having curly hair like Steven. However, it's a possibility that Rose's sword may not be heavy at all. After all, Mrs. Maheshwaran didn't have a problem just carrying it around, I mean. Not only did she have it in her bag without ease, but when she first took it from Connie, it looked as light as a feather in her hand. While that could attribute to the Connie being the center of a gem theory, that the Maheshwarans are just strong because they have some kind of gem in their DNA. For the sake of my own theory, I'm gonna have to go with the possibility of, since it is a gem weapon, and it was created by Bismuth, Rose's sword may not be super heavy. It may actually be light. We don't know what material it's made out of. And after all, it is MAGIC! So I'm not exactly expecting the rules of physics to apply. However, Mrs. Maheshwaran does have more body tone than Connie. After all, she's a fully developed adult, while Connie is still a child. Even before Steven, Connie got as much physical activity as she did studying. After all, she did play tennis and violin. So who's to say her mom wasn't the same way growing up, participating in sports and instruments? While she's a doctor, she's an in-shape doctor. So maybe her carrying around Rosa's sword wasn't that much of a difficult task for her because she can handle that weight of it. Again, we don't know how much Rosa's sword weighs. It could be the amount of a regular sword, or even heavier. After all, if it was light as a feather, maybe Mrs. Minheshwar would have commented on that, saying, oh, this is really light, like this doesn't even feel like it's an actual sword. Which could have gotten Steven and Connie off the hook quicker, saying, oh yeah, it's just a toy. Also, can I just say, the top part of Mrs. Minheshwar's hair really bugs me. And I mean, like, really bugs me. It looks like a sleeping mask, but no, it's just her hair. That was a very creative choice on the designer's end. And who knows, maybe Mrs. Maheshwaran being a doctor will play into the story. Maybe she will run some experiments on Connie and see that her DNA isn't how it should be. But then again, she's a hospital doctor, and I'm not sure if they exactly do that. Or something like that, looking into DNA. It's more than the career path of a scientist. And I would also like to note that maybe each time Steven and Connie fuse, the more and more the DNA and the gem mutation speeds up. Imagine how crazy it would be that in a big confrontation with a homeworld gem, Connie's there and they're unable to fuse, but just as all hope seems lost, you see Connie like floating or something. While I don't want her to go as far as summoning a weapon or pulling out Steven's entire arsenal, something like just floating would actually be pretty cool. Maybe now I'm just drawing parallels between Connie and Vidal. Whoops! But anyway, these are my thoughts, and I definitely want to hear yours, so please, comment down below. Do you agree with the theory that Connie is a descendant of gems? That she has some gem ancestors in her bloodline? And the character we saw in the answer was foreshadowing of that? Or do you agree with my theory that maybe that fusing with Stevani has mutated her DNA? Enhancing her skills and abilities? And making her quite the strong human compared to most, especially at her age? Or do you agree with none of it? You think that's kind of just like a normal human being? Because I kind of believe that too. But you gotta look at every possibility from both sides. At least that's what I like to do. 
Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Follow me on Twitter at AustricVox. Follow the Roundtable at RoundtableVids. Anybody associated with the Roundtable, you can find their Twitters and links below. The artist for my beautiful character poses is Glassman. You can find her and her amazing art in the description below. And we have a Patreon. If you pledge on there, it'll help our channel grow and we can create a lot more cool stuff. Some of that cool stuff you can see very, very soon and early for your patron. And until the next video, Ostrich Vox, signing out.